In this module, we will again talk about uh, the microbial growth kinetics in fed batch culture. So, as we see in previous module that during the fed batch, flow rate and the dilution is very critical. So, at the time during the fermentation process as well as the time will progress, dilution rate will decrease or increase. Mean the addition rate, the flow rate, if the flow rate or the dilution increase and decrease, that can be expressed by this equation as you see here. So, if the dilution rate will decrease as the volume increase and the D will be expressed by this equation, D is equal to F is the flow rate and V naught is the initial volume in the fermentation vessel when you we start the feeding. So, F T is the flow rate at that time. So, according to Monard kinetics, residual substrate should decrease as D decrease because if we set our feeding strategy according to the limiting substrate, so we can easily say if dilution will decrease, then the residual substrate will also increase, uh, decrease. So, resulting in an increase in the cell mass concentration. So, the if the mu will remain the same or we can say that mu and D is not equal and the mu is more than the D, then there will be a more concentration inside the fermentation vessel. So, the overall we can say that the mu which will operate in fed batch and SR will be much larger than KS and we know that KS is the substrate utilization constant which we called as Monard parameters. So, for all practical purposes, the change in residual substrate concentration would be extremely small and may be considered as zero. So, thus provided that the D is less than mu max and KS is much smaller than SR. So, in this stage, the quasi steady state may be achieved. You have seen in this discussion that how the specific growth rate, initial substrate concentration with respect to the KS. So, if we focus all these parameters during the fed batch, then it can easily be said that that state which we produce that is known as quasi steady state. So, in this slide, you can easily see that two different uh, diagrams. As concerned the A, this is that how different parameters can be affected in fixed volume, but in case of the B, you can uh, sorry A deal with the variable volume and B deal with the fixed volume. So, if we talk about the variable volume first, so SNL, these are the substrate concentration GLS growth limiting substrate, mean those substrate which directly affect on the growth or on the fermentation process. But there are some substrate which have not directly effect on the fermentation process, which here you can say represent as SN, non-limiting substrate and X is the biomass. So, during the variable volume and if we have the D is equal to mu and then we can say that 
first when we start the feeding that there is a small drift in the mu line and then it become constant so x remain the constant because our d is equal to mu so that always remain constant that only disturb when the dilution or a flow rate will be disturbed so sn because that only remain the constant because it have no utilization or no or oh, effect on that and the whole strategy of the feeding and fed batch depend upon those substrate which we called as gls so by this graph you can easily see that how different parameters varied during fed batch in variable volume but in case of this another diagram you can see that there is a constant decrease in a mu but there is a constant increase in biomass concentration because when we are having the addition of the substrate and no change in the volume what happen the mu remain the same and there is a continuation addition of the extra biomass in the same volume so the overall concentration of that remain increasing so you can see that there is the same appearance of those substrates concentration which are growth limiting because our feeding strategy mostly focused upon this uh, we can say that uh, gls growth limiting substrate but in this case when we say that uh, those substrate concentration that have decreasing rate because we are not adding that because we are adding those uh only th become the limiting because those substrate which are not limiting there is no need to add and then their concentration gradually decreased so the major difference between the steady state of a chemostat and the quasi state of the fed batch culture is that mu is constant in the chemostat but decrease in the fed batch why that is decrease and why in a chemostat that remain constant so when we say that mu is equal to d so then there is no more change in the biomass concentration dx over dt is equal to 0 that only possible when we say that residual substrate is also zero so if we if there is any residual substrate uh, we are adding in such a way that uh, there is the increase in the residual substrate concentration then there is a gradually increase of those substrate so fed batch culture can only be run so the feeding can only be happened when there is a volume provision of the fermentation vessel so we know that the maximum volume of the fermentation vessel can be utilized 75% of the total volume suppose if the fermentation vessel is total having the 10 liter and we can maximum uh, utilize the volume 7.5 liter because the head space is very critical that is needed for the gaseous exchange and some foam control etc